According to local news site G1, authorities are investigating whether the shooters, identified as Guillermo Tauchi Montero, 17, and Luis Henrique de Castro, 25, were incited by members of a deep web extremist forum called Dog Legend. The two shooters sought information on American school massacres on the forum, according to G1, friends and former classmates told investigators the shooters were obsessed with the attack on Columbine High School in the United States, Ferez told a news conference. He said the pair had been planning the attack since at least November. A relative mourns 15-year-old Cayo Oliveira. Credit. App Ferris said the acquaintances said they didn't believe the attack would actually happen, or feared that telling anyone would make them targets. The Columbine attack in 1999, also undertaken by two heavily armed young men, left 13 dead. As in Wednesday's rampage, the Columbine assailants took their own lives. Montero and Castro wanted to prove they could act like in Columbine High School with cruelty and with a tragic character so they could be more recognized than even the Columbine killers, Ferez said. He added that while bullying had been mentioned in some testimony from acquaintances, police did not believe it to be meaningful to the investigation. Cemetery employees carry the coffin of Cayo Limira, 15, credit. Apt developments came hours after classmates, friends and relatives of the victims began saying goodbye during a mass wake in the Sao Paulo suburb of Susana, where the attack happened, I couldn't sleep. I have two children in school and they are about the age of the victims, said Wanda Augusta, a 46-year-old homemaker attending the wake, if only we could have identified the difficulties of these boys before the attack, said Rosiele Soares, the state education secretary, who attended the wake at a volleyball arena. This is a problem in our society, a student places her handprints on a wall at Raul Brazil State School. Credit. Apcadia Sastra, a police officer who was elected to Congress, after a video showing her gunning down an armed robber outside her daughter's school went viral last year, called on authorities to provide better security at schools, this could have been prevented if upstanding citizens were able to defend themselves and bear arms, said Sastra.